Hi everyone, Dan Jemis here with the Dan Jemis Real Estate Team. Happy holidays to you. Do you need a laugh after spending all that time with your in-laws? If so, December 27th, we have our very first Windsor Comedy Festival. We spoke to the organizers. Let's have a look. My name is Sean Talbot, and we're putting on the Windsor Comedy Festival right here at the Chrysler Theater. Uh, part of it was simply watching television and seeing all the, the different um, festivals that happen throughout the country, um, you know, from Montreal to Winnipeg to Halifax, but none of them ever seemed to come here as comedy festivals. And comedy, festival, comedy festivals are a lot of fun. And um, I got tired of not seeing them come to our community. So we decided to do the next best thing, which was do it ourselves. My name is Tracy St. Germain and um, my involvement with the organization with the Windsor Comedy Festival is I'm responsible for the uh, sales and sponsorship. We have Barry Taylor who is going to be our MC for the evening. Uh, he's a wonderful guy. He's been um, involved with the comedy festivals, a lot of different comedy festivals and been in the industry for a while. And we have uh, Steph Tolev. Steph Tolev has also been involved with Yuck Yucks and Just for Laughs. She's also been down in LA at the LA Comedy Festival. Uh, we also have Mark DeBonis. Uh, Mark DeBonis has also been doing a lot of different stand-up comedies, uh, also involved with Yuck Yucks and uh, Just for Laughs. We also have uh, a Windsor native, uh, Dave Marhaj. He's won a lot of different awards recently. Uh, he's been to, um, uh, he's been on Just for Laughs, Yuck Yucks as well, and uh, I believe it's the Edinburgh um, Comedy Festival. And we also have uh, Kay Trevor Wilson. Kay Trevor Wilson, once again, is another phenomenal stand-up comedian that's uh, coming to the Windsor area. And so we're so excited that we have all of these amazing headliner comedians that are coming to the Windsor area. I think it's phenomenal that they're wanting to grace the stage and be a part of Windsor and part of this amazing, positive, fantastic, funny, hilarious comedy festival. So it's just wonderful. It's really what we wanted to do was really um, get the city to embrace the idea of this festival. Festivals are a lot bigger than putting on a show, um, especially if they grow over time. There's something that you want to to um, exist for multiple multiple years into the future. So what's important, one of the things that's important there is to um, get the city to embrace the program, embrace the brand. And that's really what we decided to do with um, involving the charity. Uh, we have a charity dinner that takes place just before uh, the event and um, the, the charity dinner goes to raise funds for General Brock School um, in their breakfast and lunch programs, raising funds for their for the kids to have a nourishing meal at the breakfast and lunch. Uh, my name is Jason Tang. I am a public relations uh, intern for Sean. I'm kind of helping him with uh, his, his PR work. He's taken on a couple of journalist students, so I'm in the public relations program. Uh, at the Mediaplex, we also share that building with journalism uh, and media convergence. So. He actually uh, was able to recruit a couple uh, journalists to help him either with uh, video or social media as well. I, was, I helped him write a couple press releases. Um, one of them was in regards to hosting a, a charity uh, dinner and obviously the show um, for General Brock uh, uh, Public School who um, is using the, the festival to kind of help them build awareness on uh, the breakfast lunch program and to raise money for it as well. So General Brock Public School will be hosting a dinner here. Uh, it's catered by the St. Clair College uh, Culinary Program. Uh, tickets are $30 and doors open at five. I, I approached a friend to find a local charity to involve with this project uh, as far as a, a, a dinner was concerned. And she said, you know, I know the right place. I got an idea, I got someone you need to speak to. And I said, sure, and right that moment, we went to uh, General Brock School and spoke to the principal there. I talked to the principal and let her know what we were looking to do, and um, she, was, she was great. You know, she thought it would be a great idea too, and immediately was on board. And um, at that point, we went downstairs, and they were actually having a lunch, um, handing out lunch for the, lunches for the children that day. So I got to participate in uh, handing out lunches to the young, to the youth. And uh, later on during that afternoon, I actually shared with the lady that introduced me and the principal, my actual story, which was that was the same school I went to as a youth. I went to that school and I was also a part of the uh, breakfast program. I was receiving meals when I was a kid 
for, from that program. So it touches a little bit closer to home. It was sort of by chance that it even happened, but um, I'm uh, very appreciative of the fact that it did happen. Hi, my name is Mike Allen, and uh, I got involved with uh, uh, Sean's project after uh, the museum, North American Black Historical Museum was approached to ask if we wanted to be part of that, and we decided that we couldn't. But my daughter, who is the chair of the fundraising committee for that organization, called me and said, Dad, could you give Sean a hand? And I had some time, so I called Sean and said, whatever you want me to do, we can make it work. Because, because I believe in the young man. I've worked with him in the past. I know what kind of energy he has, and uh, I truly believe in what he's trying to do. And I'm just talking to people that I know and that I've met through my lifetime try to convince them that this is an event that Windsor needs, especially for the winter time, because there's not much going on in the winter, right? especially between Christmas and New Year's. So I think it's a wonderful fit and a wonderful idea. I mean, everybody needs to laugh. It's good for your soul. It's good for your heart. It's good for your spirit. And uh, I think it's a good fit for what the city is trying to do to diversify its, uh, what's going on in the city. We're going to put on a show that's uh on par with some of the best shows that uh, you see around the country. Uh, we're bringing award-winning comedians. All of them are accomplished. All of them has, have played the uh, major festivals across Canada and into North America. And again, they're all award-winning. This is a type of show, what we're looking to do here is create an environment where um, up-and-coming comedians have a good place to show their wares, right? And, you know, just if you remember Eddie Murphy or George Carlin, before we knew who those guys were, we want to be one of those environments where we're a good place to be. We have an exceptional audience. We put on a good show. And, um, you know, you're going to laugh your butt off coming to our show. That's really what we want.